Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about uh, the basic terminologies that are being used in ethical hacking. So most of the things you might be known and uh, a few things you might not be known. So let me discuss about the definitions of all the basic terminologies like uh, uh, virus, malicious code, backdoor, phishing, malware, etc. etc. So, uh, today's session I will explain or I will completely give the definitions by typing in the excel sheet so that if anyone required this excel so it would be easy for me to share the excel. So let's move on to the system. I will type the definitions of all the basic terminologies which, which, which are being used in the ethical hacking. Hello friends. So now we will see the basic terminologies that are being used in ethical hacking. So let me write down the complete uh, definitions in the excel. So this is the name we will write and uh, let us take this is the description box. Yes. So the first one is a uh, attack. So we know that attack means getting the unauthorized action to a system or a network. So which is being called as an attack. So we can simply say it as unauthorized action taken on system or network so we call it as a attack and then backdoor so this backdoor is to access the name itself indicates it is to access the computer system which bypasses the system security mechanism so whatever the security mechanisms available in our system it will be bypassed by this particular uh, to gain the access is called a backdoor right so the ethical hacker will maintain this backdoor right so to access a computer system that bypasses the security mechanisms that bypass security mechanisms that's called a backdoor and the next one is a brute force attack so very important thing there is a brute force attack so this brute force attack is nothing but a trail and error method right so checking all possibilities so if you want to crack a password so you can check with all the possibilities that is called a brute force attack so this brute force attack uses trail and error methods error method to guess the login information or etc etc whatever the thing so not only the login information anything so if you want to guess something so blindly it will go with the trial and error method so that is called a brute force attack and the next one is the exploit this is also very important terminology which will be used in our further sessions in ethical hacking that is the exploit so this exploit is a program or an instruction that is designed to find the vulnerabilities available in the system or to take the advantage of security flaw of a computer system. So it will find the vulnerabilities. Vulnerability means a weakness, right? So this exploit is a program which finds the weakness of a computer system or a network and it will make an advantage to gain the access or unauthorized access, right? So this is a program or instructions instructions to find the weakness and take advantage take advantage of flaw flaw means a weakness right flaw in an application in an application or a system computer system 
so it will find the vulnerabilities it will find the weakness and it will take an advantage of that particular weakness to gain the unauthorized access so this terminology is very important because it will be uh, used in our ethical hacking in, in our further sessions right the next one firewall firewall so all of you know about this firewall so this is a network security devices that monitors the all the incoming and outgoing network traffic so it will allow only the authorized access authorized traffic and it will not allow the unauthorized access right so this firewall is a network device is a network device which monitors all incoming and outgoing traffic and allows only authorized traffic authorized traffic so it will not allow the unauthorized traffic right so that we call it as a firewall and the next terminology is hacker so the hacker is a person who finds the weakness and exploit and gains the access of uh, target system that means unauthorized access so hacker is a person who finds the ex weakness and takes an advantage of a system computer system right so that means unauthorized access unauthorized access so the person who finds the weakness right so in order to find the weakness we, we will be having a lot of tools so we'll discuss all of them in our further sessions so the person who do all the things is called a hacker and the next one is a hacking so which is similar to our hacker so the process of finding the weakness is called a hacking so the process process of finding weakness of a system and gaining the access gaining access unauthorizedly is called as a hacking it's a process and a hacker is a person and the next one is a key log or key stroke logging or we can also simply say it as a key logging key logging so key logging or a key stroke logging and this is a process which is used to record the keys done on the keyboard so whatever the actions performed on the keyboard will be maintained in a log by using this key stroke logging right so in order to gain the access in order to find the passwords or our financial information like credit card uh, information which we are giving in our system using our keyboard so everything will be maintained in a log so this key stroke is an action of recording it's an action of recording all the actions all all the keystrokes performed on our keyboard so the keystrokes means whatever the information we are giving through the keyboard keyboard everything will be recorded so it will be maintained a log right so that process we call it as a keystroke logging or a key logging the next one malicious code so malicious code is nothing but a virus it's a virus or we can also call it as a unwanted files or a program so that can cause a harm to our computer or a data stored on a computer so that's what happens with a virus right so malicious code is nothing but a group of viruses right so a group of viruses a virus or unwanted files unwanted files or programs so which can harm or destroy destroy data stored in our computer system 
right so malicious code is a group of virus so it the virus or worms or logic bombs or trojan horse everything comes under this malicious code right so that's why we can call it as a group of virus any virus will comes under this malicious code right so obviously the main objective of this virus is to harm or destroy the data which is being stored in our computer so sometimes it may it may destroy our computer hardware also it may destroy our computer hardware not only the data it can destroy the computer also and the next one is malware so which is similar to our malicious code so this is also one terminology which are, which is being used frequently in our further sessions malware is also a software so which we call it as a intrusive software intrusive software to damage the system or destroy data stored in our system in our computer destroy the data stored in our computer so similar to our malicious code right so similar to our malicious code but one difference is malicious code means is is a program or instructions so a virus is also a instructions or a program right so malware is nothing but a software okay software which is designed to damage the system or destroy the data stored in our computer and the next one is a phishing so this is also one type of uh, attack which will be uh, we, uh, we are going to use in our further systems so phishing is an social engineering attack so is also called as a social engineering attack where an attacker sends a fraud message to a person in order to reveal sensitive data sensitive data so it's an attack which is where an attacker sends some sort of message so that can be in terms of a hyperlinks or a normal message to a person and making that person to reveal the sensitive data so by clicking on that particular link or by uh, clicking on the software so whatever it may be so it makes a person to trust make a trust and it makes a person to reveal all the sensitive data so it is called a phishing attack right next a spoofing this is also similar similar to our uh, a phishing attack so it is a technique used to gain the unauthorized access and here the attacker sends a message to a computer with an ip address indicating that the message is coming from the trusted host so first it will make the person it will make the person to feel the message is coming from the trusted host and it, and the attacker will gain the unauthorized access so this is a technique technique used to gain unauthorized access by sending message with an ip with an ip indicating that a message is coming from trusted host so that means the message is coming from the trusted host it, it, it will may it will make the person to feel that the message is coming from the trusted host and host and the uh, the attacker will gain the unauthorized access so that process we call it as a spoofing so it's also similar to our phishing okay it's also similar to our phishing attack and the next one is a sql injection sql injection so the name itself indicates here it will use some malicious sql code so uses malicious sql queries code for a back end database back end database so obviously the database will be in the back end 
so backend database uh, to access the information to access information or to manipulate the information manipulate the information so this is also an unauthorized access right but here the attack will be done on the database with the help of queries which are malicious so this sql injection will give the uh, use the malicious sql code for the backend databases to access the information this is also an unauthorized access and the next one is a threat so threat is a nothing but a possible danger possible danger to our computer so which may destroy destroy the data or system so it's a just a warning okay there is a possibility to exploit our vulnerabilities right a threat is a possibility okay it will show the possibility to gain the other another is access and the next one is a trojan so this is a one type of uh, malicious code we can also call it as a trojan horse trojan horse so this trojan horse is also a type of computer virus that is camouflaged in the form of regular software so similar to our uh, spoofing so spoofing means so the attacker will send a message with an ip and indicating that the message is coming from the trusted host but here instead of sending a message it will use a software okay which will be uh, treated as a, a regular software so which is not an unauthorized software or uh, it's not an uh, virus right so it will treat as an regular software so this is a type of uh, type of computer software that is camouflaged the camouflaged means uh, just like our uh, mirroring right mirroring camouflaged in the form in the form of a, a regular software regular software right so the attacker uh, attacker will use this software okay in order to inject some malicious code into our system with the means of a software so it will be treated as a regular software okay there will be no problem with that particular software right so that we call it as a trojan horse so that will also be comes under our malicious code and the next one is a vulnerability vulnerability so this vulnerability is a weakness that can be exploited by the attacker to gain unauthorized access so whatever the attack uh, i mean whatever the exploit we are we have discussed just now so vulnerability is a weakness weakness that can be identified uh, that can be identified by attacker or a hacker to gain unauthorized access so that is called a vulnerability so these are the these are the basic terminologies basic terminology used in ethical hacking so in our further sessions you will be knowing about all these things we, we are going to use all these terminologies so directly or indirectly so this is a basic terminology and this is a terminology and description or definition so this is all about our basic terminologies in ethical hacking so hope you understood this one so this will be very useful for our further sessions right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any uh, doubts regarding this uh, these basic terminologies uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much